Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop uh, to get her out number 18. Uh, what we have here is a coupling from a traction motor, one of those electric motors that drives the trains. And um, the customer has um, asked me to remove a plug inside here. There's a plug and a, and a hole, like an oil hole, that goes through uh, into the into the into the bore section and they've requested that I get that plug out they've, they've struggled to get it out um, so that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to show you my setup and we're going to um, we're going to do this job and it may be more than take more than one movie to do it um, we'll, uh, we'll we'll check our times and we'll see if there may be uh, a couple in this series now what we have here is this hole if we looked into the hole um, what, we're, what we're seeing is uh, some thread and then below the thread um, it appears to be a sheared off allen key and um, they didn't tell me that and when i when i study it further uh, in the depth it appears also that at this point here there's been a hole drilled down on the edge of the thread and a pin driven in there to lock this plug in place. Now there, are, there is some thread sticking out and I'm, I believe I've run, I've run a, a 1.8 NPT tap down. There's about four threads open there um, above, above this uh, where this plug is broken and um, it look, appears to be uh, a 1.8 NPT and that that would be uh, reasonable to assume. And also the question is this locking pin, um, what it's actually doing. And that may be the reason why, the root cause of why they couldn't get this plug out and uh, why, why they broke, uh, they snapped a, an Allen key off, which they didn't tell me about. So we're going to now um, go ahead and, and get this onto the mill. Um, and start working. So we'll swing around here. We'll swing around to the mill area. I'll um, I'll take that out a bit further and uh, unlock the camera up now of where we're going to be working. Um, right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the um, remove the I've already. already ta um, taken it off. Um, I'm going to take that down. I'm, I'm only 12 sl slips away from my um, uh, 66th birthday so I've given up on, on doing the hard yards of lifting these sort of things. Uh, so I'll put this out of the way. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to um, set up our uh, independent uh, vice jaws um, so that we can, uh, we can gain that extra height that we wouldn't have had with the, uh, with the main vice. So uh, these, they've already been cleaned. Um, I'll, fit, I'll set them up. As I said in one of my earlier um, my earlier videos, these, you could put two bolts in here if you need for really heavy duty work. Um, but uh, generally speaking, that 
uh, for a lot of this work one will be enough. Bloody dropsies again. Um, so the way we'll set this up is we'll line up, square up the uh, the edges there and lock that one in and um, we'll take the jaw back up a bit further we'll have the second loose jaw out of the way and we'll offer up the part and then we'll bring that second jaw into play value onto that um, uh, that overhead crane that I built it's just it's just uh, fantastic now on this side here we've got um, a section inside and uh, it's just inboard of the um, of the jaws so I'm going to put something in between there so we don't press on that jaw and at the same time I might put a couple of I might, I might put a couple of parallels in here just to give us a bit more um, jaw coverage on that and uh, we'll maybe one or two we'll see how this goes that one will fit in there nicely so I'll put that one in sit up in there we're lined up pretty good um, and it really doesn't matter this one will follow the um, its sister on the other side so there shouldn't be any issues here um, with with uh, getting enough clamping force that we need for this particular job um, going for time so that's all good now we'll be able to lock those jaws down with that. So, but first of all, we want to line this up. So the way we're going to do it um, is I've found a 12.9 uh, drill bit seems to fit in there nice and neat. And I'm going to fit a drill bit in here and I'm going to line the two up in both directions. So I don't need to line it up this way, really. It's only in that, in that direction. And then I'll know I'm pretty, I'm pretty spot on as far as the... Um, as the lineup of the hole is concerned. So we'll just grab any any drill bit, it doesn't matter. Um, you could use a dowel pin or, or whatever, or um, a milling tool, it really doesn't matter. And we'll bring them both to a point where I can line that up and then I can lock this into place for, for actually doing the job. Uh, there would have, there can, there can be other ways of doing it. There's pins here that I could block it up on, but this for the uh, for this job, being that I don't, uh, that I'm, I'm, it's a get her out job. I'm, I'm quite happy to expect uh, to accept uh, this eye line up, and just as you would lining up a vice along the length of the groove with your by eye. Um, you'd be quite happy with that. So I'm happy with that. I'll lock that into place, give it a check. Well, I'm happy with that. So we're, we're uh, it's a second check, that looks good. That looks okay, we can get going. Now, this 12.9 as we saw was very, very neat. So I'm going to use that one to get my centering, to center her up. And all I do here is I'll keep pecking it until 
uh, there's no resist or or there's no resistance to get in there. Yep, I'm happy with that. I think I'm on spot. I'll zero those those two in, uh, and we'll get going. Okay, we're on zero, we're on zero, so we can move, we can wander around. I'll lock the, the Y, um, take it out for a second and have a look. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, I can't show you, except for what I've written down there, how uh, this is. But it's, I'm 100% I'm sure that whoever put this plug in didn't want it to come out, and they've and they've inserted a little pin, probably about two millimeters in the side. So what I'm going to try and do is just go down there uh, with a uh, with a mill. Uh, a carbide mill and see if I can work my way through getting that um, easy out out for, a big, for the start. In the first instance, it's too big. That's, a zero, that's an 8mm. What we'll do is we'll get the chart and we'll just check and see what the drilling diameter needs to be for uh, a 1.8 NPT plug because we don't want to go above that thread, that, above that diameter uh, at this point in time unless we've got no choice. So, um, so national standard pipe but NPT 1.8 27 TPI is 8.7 diameter. So if I'm going down with an 8 mm uh, uh, then that's fine. So I'm, I'm going to use that ball, the ball head, just to get myself a start and then I'll probably follow through with a smaller size thing. So we'll do that at the beginning. Once again, as I said, I, I, we can use the collets but I can also use the chuck. These, these ball bearing chucks are quite um, quite accurate and certainly good enough for this application. Um, geez, I work differently when I've got to do precision machining but uh, at this point uh, it's really with the getter out um, we effectively want to uh, be close but we don't have to be within the thousands. I'll just come up there a bit. Get some light on the subject. There's not much. Judy, I'll call you back. There's, there's uh, very little that I'm going to be able to do with that, so I'll, I'll get that out a bit further. I don't think I have a long series of that. Um, that's where we are. One fly. I'm going to run this on low for the moment. I've 
I've got a bite, I want to have a look at that. Way so I don't knock my head, which I have a habit of doing. Yeah, we've got a bite on it. Um, so that's good. We'll, put, we'll continue from there. A lot of the getter outs I do on the other, on the smaller bill, but it all comes down to what's available uh, and what's more comfortable for the particular job on hand. Uh, I'm going to get a bit of my uh, favourite black gooey stuff in there. I'm going to give it a few more revs. Feel like I'm getting much more, much more out of the into that. So I'm going to go to the end mill um, and give that a try. You know, I'll go back to I'll go up to high high RPM uh, and just pick that along and see how we go. I'm only hearing about a thousand. We are progressing. I'm not measuring how far we've got, but I would say that we've had some success there. Uh, we had a little bit of resistance uh, jumping about, so we'll move that aside. Uh, hopefully we haven't done any damage to this uh, Mornings, yeah, I've broken the uh, broken the end off. The end's broken off. So we might have to go to Plan Z. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. We seem to be advancing quite well, but as I've said in the past, these things are consumables. The big the big thing is. And I think what's happened here is I've gone through, and as I've gone through, I've caught it. And that's 90% of the breakages happen in those sort of situations. Yeah, so the other key's gone. We're finished with that. Um, and 100% there's a pin on the side there. Um, I'm now going to go up to that 8 mil and uh, see if I can get rid of some of that thread and that pin at the same time. I'm going to stop now and we'll do a second, uh, a second stage with it.